Well, hi, hello, welcome back to Hate the Good Life. My name is Natalie and I'm so glad you're here. Got a squeaky greenhouse. <laughs> welcome to my greenhouse. Uh, today's video is our vlog for the week and it's a really special vlog because we have special guests coming to our little backyard farm and the cool thing about doing these vlogs is we get to share with you our life as our family is growing and as this little backyard farm is growing too. It's been a really interesting adventure learning to farm regeneratively in our backyard in the city and I can't believe that it's been two years of doing YouTube and sharing these videos with you guys. And I just wanna say thank you so much for joining our journey and following along. And we're about to hit 6,000 subscribers here, which is so exciting, so thank you so much. I really started this channel because I had projects that I wanted to share with the world and then God really laid it on my heart to share the journey of apartment to farm. and. Like many of you guys already know, this is a stepping stone house for us. We're renters in the city and we haven't found our forever home just yet, but, but there are so many things that we've learned along the way. And this week, as we're preparing for our special guests to arrive, I just can't help but wonder, like, what would my life be like had I not said yes to my farm dream 10 years ago? What would my life be like had I not said yes to regenerative farming in my backyard <laughs> just a couple years ago? I mean, my life is so radically different in some amazing ways and we've grown so much and learned so much. So thanks for tuning into the vlog today, you guys. I hope you enjoy the behind the scenes of our life as we learn to farm regeneratively in the backyard and get ready for special guests to come out. And this is a really special video to me, so. Enjoy. <laughs> My farm friends are coming. You know them and love them maybe just as much as I do. And to say I'm excited is an understatement. As I get ready for this week and prepare for their visit, I can't help but wonder, what would my life look like if I hadn't said yes to this regenerative farm dream? While so much of my life is the same, so much is gloriously different. Sure, I wake up, make my tea, I go on a walk and let the cats get some fresh air too, of course. I wake up with the sun and my mornings are slow and intentional for now while they can be. It's in this stillness this week that I find myself in awe of what saying yes to my regenerative farm and retreat center dream has done for me, for my life, for the life of our family and for those around us. Saying yes to my regenerative farm dream has brought adventure and life and friendships I could have only dreamed of just a few years ago. Take this lemon tree for example. We inherited it upon moving to this property and it was once on the verge of death and if it were not for the healing power of worm tea and worm castings, it would have died for sure. This lemon tree is a living testament to the power of our farm dreams and certainly a testament to the power of regenerative agriculture too. Thank God for sweet husbands and dear friends. As Tommy and I clean out the office to make room for our guests and make room for an eventual nursery, I'm reminded that I just love hosting people. It makes my heart so happy to create a comfortable, inviting place for friends and loved ones to visit and to leave feeling a little bit more refreshed, hopefully. And I hope that one day I'll be able to do this as my full-time job on the farm. But for now, our very special guests are on the way and I thank God because they've agreed to help me and my growing pregnant body plant the garden. Because let's be frank, it is more than I can do on my own at the moment. And that's okay.
One of my big tasks this week involved restructuring the livestock of our small backyard farm, our worms and our worm farm. I know some of you have been very curious about the workings of our setup, so stay tuned for the full video on this. While our little backyard semi-regenerative farm may be small, every element counts and every element is teaching us something. This little worm farm has taught me so much about farm systems, building for small scale farming, regeneration of soil, foliar feeding, building ecosystems, managing livestock, and so much more. As we say yes to our farm dreams by farming in our backyard, the journey not only builds our knowledge, but it builds our character too. This week, I'm learning that it's okay to go slow. I'm a dreamer, a go-getter, a mountain chaser, a vision caster, and going slow is not in my nature. But things change. Growing a human is a huge endeavor, and as my capacity changes, so too does my heart change as I learn to embrace a new pace. As I prepare the garden beds for fall and winter plantings, excited to plant with my friends, I'm filled with awe at how much richer my life is for having said yes to a dream. And not just any dream, a regenerative farm dream. I've learned so much about soil and gardening and raised beds and what it means to steward the earth and regenerate her little by little with how we deal with our waste and how we rebuild topsoil. My passion has started to light fires in the hearts of others too. Slowly but surely, my dear Tomcat has grown to appreciate how we've built ecosystems and how our small backyard farm is a refuge not only for us, but for worms and birds and everything in between. Together, we're working to better our health, this world, partner with our dreams, leave a legacy and leave this place a little bit better than we found it. When my heart first set eyes on this dream over 10 years ago, I had no idea where it would lead me. I just knew that I had to say yes, because if I didn't, my soul would wither. But saying yes to a rambling regenerative farm and retreat center dream when you live in an apartment is quite a leap. So what do you do in the in-between places? You make the most of it. You bloom where you're planted. Build raised garden beds with your own two hands. Learn to get your hands dirty and start growing food right where you are, even if it's in the middle of the city. Even if life has thrown at you so many obstacles that you could have never seen coming, like crazy back injuries and water issues in your garden that leave soil hard and in need of some TLC. My friends and I like to talk about the in-between places, how being in transition is hard and it's not exactly what we want, but there is something beautiful about it. There's something beautiful to living in what is the good old days. As I capture these sweet moments on film, I'm reminded that one day we're going to look back on these videos and say, remember when? There are no magic wands or quick fixes to the kinds of huge God-sized dreams we hold in our hearts. There's dedication, hard work, sacrifice, and many lessons to be learned. But what makes the in-between sweet is the dream and how God so faithfully shows us dreamers, he really does care. My friends and I, and my husband and I, well, we're dreamers, believing that God cares and wants to use us and our passions for growing real food, regenerative agriculture, and sharing this knowledge for kingdom purpose. And he is faithful to do it. Over and over again, he shows up and shows us just how much he really does care. When I look at my life, I find myself surrounded by people who love and support us. You are some of those people. Thank you. Every like, comment, share, and kind word fills our cups to keep going and keep sharing our passion, projects, and dreams unfolding with you. We've gained fellow vision casters and sounding boards for and with us, friends we root for and friends who root for us. Even when we are on such different parts of the journey, my dear friends and I are all saying yes to dreams, and we get to do that together. I heard it said recently that it's not about how you get there, but who you get there with. Another testament to the fact that God cares is this greenhouse. Like so many of you guys already know, this greenhouse was built using wood that I found on the side of the road that was pre-cut to the exact dimensions that I had drawn out. And for 
a year, I had been longing for a greenhouse and I just wondered how could we make it happen as renters who aren't in a permanent place. And I got this vision of a greenhouse on wheels, which is so unusual. I really haven't seen very many of these online. <laughs> Share the full story here, so if you wanna check it out, feel free to click the info card. Um, I just find myself in awe this week at how far we've come, how much we've grown, how we've grown our circle of friends, and how we've grown a garden, and we're growing our family, and we're growing our YouTube channel. This channel really exists as an encouragement to others that if I can do it, if we can do it, you can certainly do it, and that your dreams are absolutely worth chasing, and you never know where they're going to take you. They could take you some really incredible places. They could make you some really incredible friends. Friends that fly from across the country to come visit. And uh, on that note, I've got a couple more honeydews to do before they get here. I'm gonna hop off. And yes, I'm not telling you who's coming just yet, but stay tuned because they'll be here very soon. And I'm excited to share us planting the garden together. They're gonna help me plant my garden. And I might just show them how to California. So <laughs> it's gonna be a good time. Thanks for hanging out with me today, you guys. And thank you for joining us on this really wild ride and adventure. It has been so fun to share our learning to farm adventure with you, our backyard farming, regenerative farming adventure with you. <laughs> we are learning a little bit more each and every day and hoping that, you know, stewarding our bodies and this garden leads to so much more abundance one day very soon. So thank you so much for tuning in and, and stay tuned to join us as my special guests help me plant the garden and I show them California. <laughs> See you in the next one. Bye.